Hello and welcome to tutorial 47 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET program tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the using get elements by tag name in vb.net. Now I'm going to have to go really quickly because this is the third time I've done this tutorial and it keeps going over 10 minutes so first of all I'm just going to explain why I've been inactive lately. Um, I've been really busy with different things and I haven't been able to make videos, I haven't had the time and <coughs> I'm going to continue making videos normally as of next week but this video is just like a little video so you guys know that I haven't forgot about this channel and I've got hundreds of plans so let's make a new project and call it get elements by tag name now what we're going to cover here is how to interact with the HTML elements in a web page and get the attributes of them elements now that might might not make much sense to you right now but what I've done is I've created a little diagram right here to explain what HTML, HTML elements are. Now, if you're familiar with HTML and you know to put an image into a web page, you'd start off with the start brackets, then you'd have IMG here, then this green would be SRC, and then this orange would be the direct link to your image. So basically what an element is, is it's like an image or a link or a button in a page and the element name like this will be IMG image will be the element name the attribute will be like the SRC and the attribute value would be the link the direct link to the image now to explain this a little better I've went to this page just go to Yahoo homepage and click on mail and you should be this page should be brought up I don't know why I chose this page it's just you know a bit random but I'm going to highlight this image and view selection source and you'll see here it has <coughs> image src equals and then this link now this HTML element right here from this tag here to this tag here this right here is a HTML element now this element the element name is image as we can see on our diagram here element name then the att first attribute src <coughs> and then the attribute value is this direct link here. Now, what I've done here is made a list of each attribute, well, attribute name in this image <coughs> element: src, alt, width, and height. So we have src attribute, the attribute, then alt attribute, width, and height. Okay, so now that we understand what a element. <coughs> in a HTML pages we can start the coding and apologize for like coughing and stuff I've got a really bad cold <coughs> okay so we're going to create an application that will get the direct link to each image on this web page now all you need to do is add a button and this is going to be the browse button and then add a text box and now we're going to add a web browser <coughs> okay and underneath this we're going to add another text box and this is going to be the text box that each of the image links is pasted into and I'm going to add scroll bar to that vertical and okay now what we're going to need to do the first little coding part is we want to make this web browser navigate to the text inside this text box now we know to do that web browser one dot navigate and in brackets oops text box one dot text now I'm sure I've taught you about the web browser navigated or loaded events all you do is click on a web browser and go to the events and double click document completed now all this does is when a web browser is loaded this is what happens so you could be like message box dot show the page is loaded but in this case when the page is loaded we're going to retrieve all of the HTML elements from it and then get all of the links now I'm gonna have to try and go over this quite quickly because I'm struck for time here so um, first of all we need, we're going to declare page elements as HTML element collection and equals web browser one dot document dot get elements by whoops by tag name and in brackets and quotations IMG. So 
what we're doing here is we declare page elements as a HTML element collection, and then we're going to set that to the value of web browser one dot document dot get element by tag name. Oh, I've missed out a thing here. Get elements by tag name image. So what this is now, this is a collection of each image element in the page. So this page element now represents each image element in the web page. Okay, so now we have all the elements. How do we get the SRC from them? Well, what we're going to do is use a for loop to loop through each element and then get the attribute SRC. So we'll do for each current element as HTML element in page elements. Now this loop will it's going to say for each and current element we're going to say that is what the element is as a HTML, HTML element in page element which is here so basically for each for every image element in this as a HTML element in this variable page elements we're going to do something with it now we could do message box dot show um, the whole element or whatever we want but for this example we're going to add each element's um, attribute src to a text box now all we do to get the attribute is we use current element because that's what we declared as here dot get attribute and in brackets and quotations we're going to get the src now what this does is we got say this is the first image here in the for loop this will be this will represent the first image now we're going to get the attribute src so as you can see here um, the attribute src that will give the value of the direct link so now we need to do something with this i'm just going to say textbox2.text two dot text equals textbox2.text two dot text and that and then an environment dot new line whoops Now, what this is going to do is for each element, for each um, current element as a HTML element in the page elements, which is all our images, it's just going to add the current element's attribute SRC to this text box and then a new line. So, hopefully, when we try this out, it's going to just list every link in the web page. So, I'm going to take this link right here, paste it in there, and browse. And as you can see, we've got a list of three images here. That will be the logo, this smart email for all, and then this image here. So that's basically how to get, well, how to interact with the HTML elements in a web page and how you can get the attributes of different elements. Now, I haven't got enough time, but you can use this to like, find like a button. If, if it doesn't have an ID, you can get like get Elma by, by tags name button and then you can just look for like whatever attribute you want like value and then you can just click it you know I haven't got enough time to explain all that to you but yeah now if you're wondering what the hell this is this piece of crap diagram well I just want well I, I've been planning a lot and in the future I'm going to be making some really detailed tutorials like with diagrams explaining how everything works where everything is just so I can teach you guys a little bit more but I don't have enough time to do that right now but I'll start doing that next week with some new tutorials I'm gonna teach how to like interact with every single HTML, uh, HTML element in a web page without using the tags and yep so please subscribe to my channel I'm going to end this video before I run out of time and sorry for this little stupid drawing I just wanted to try and explain it better but I don't have the time to make a proper one